The Grand Caverns in southwestern Virginia were not only the first cave in America to be open to the public as a show cave, but also potentially the site of the oldest cryptid photograph that we have. As a little heads up for everybody watching, you're probably going to want your brightness pretty high on whatever device you're viewing this on. Now the story goes as follows. The year was 1895. Amateur photographer and spelunker Oren Jeffries was exploring a section of the Grand Caverns that had yet to be mapped. Since amateur photography was still a relatively new concept, Jeffries was attempting a novel idea, trying to capture a photo in complete darkness. Figuring a cave would be the best place to try this, he set out to the Grand Caverns. On one of his expeditions, after he had snuffed out the light from his lantern and set up his camera, something strange happened. He heard figures approaching him from the deeper recesses of the cave. As they got closer, he saw what he described to a local newspaper as three humanoid figures. Terrified by what could be headed towards him, he sprinted out of the cave, leaving his camera behind, but not before managing to take a photo using the device's flash. Days later, Oren returned to the cave with three other men accompanying him, and after retrieving his camera, found that this was the image captured. Now, as far as what's really shown in the photo, it's pretty up in the air. Due to the nature of how the picture was taken, obviously what's surrounding the three sets of eyes is pretty hard to make out. Fortunately, due to the sheer age of the photograph, it's more than safe to rule out Photoshop, so that leaves two major candidates, owls or cryptids. Owls are pretty self-explanatory. They have eyes that glow in the dark, and they do live in caves. While Jeffries described humanoid figures, it is possible that he could have simply not made out all the details clearly, due to the darkness and the adrenaline he might have felt fearing his life was in danger. Or more cynically, he may have simply been attempting to deceive others. But the photo is called the Grand Caverns Cryptids for a reason, and I think there may be something to that. Here you can see a very, very rough outline for the tallest figure that I made. I believe the other two figures are crouched behind a rock rather than merely short. And North America has no shortage of burly bipedal beasts that Jeffries could have witnessed that day. Relatedly, here's a map that went somewhat viral a little while back, showing major disappearances and U.S. cave systems. Is it possible that there were others like Orin who weren't as swift-footed after their finds? Oh. Do you believe that the Grand Caverns cryptids are real? Let me know in the comments if you're not too scared to take a shot in the dark.